I think we need to work on the integration of sexual health, family planning, HIV issues and violence services as part of a package of universal coverage and strengthening primary care. But also I think we need to work on policies related to how to make community participate and how to break silos between health workers. But I think still that's not enough. Policies are not enough. We need to push from the bottom up and we need to improve the implementation of, of any policy. So in 21st century, we are entering sustainable development goals era. And right now it's time to connect uh, the loose ends that are already there in the field. And it's the time for cross sectional um, cooperation, but it's also important to remember who are we doing it for, and if we want to have young people at the table, we need to make sure that the policies are being translated, and then, and only if we are using the language of young people, they can meaningfully sit at the table and be able to be part of the conversation. Um, I think there is a lot of repetition in the work that we do across agencies, so we need to better communicate the things that we do so that others are aware of it. We need greater preparedness to engage um, across stakeholder groups, and we need some me governance mechanism um, and oversight to ensure that this happens so that there are incentives to actually collaborate. The key policy action that will be most important to achieve uh, integration of HIV and SRHR is the consolidation of the funding sources. Only when the health worker at the front line doesn't have to work whether the condom is going to be used for infection prevention or for prevention of pregnancy, the, only then will the silos disappear. I think the main policy action is to move a substantial proportion of the funding that goes to HIV programming into SRHR funding uh, programming. Um, the reason being that it's through the SRHR systems and programs that this is where we can reach adolescent girls and young women. It's where we can reach women living with HIV. And it's where the systems work most effectively and most efficiently to, if they're joined together. We have many opportunities to reach uh, girls and young women through schools. I believe that uh, an integrated multi-sectoral approach between education and health ministries could go a long way to facilitate girls' attendance in school, facilitate their uh, access to health through schools. Of course, we need outreach to girls who are not in school, but I believe that would be a great first step.